below. Are you a completionist? Are you? Are you? I am. Some of us are. Like, did you ever play GTA back in the day and then have to, like, spend hundreds of hours searching the map for all the hidden items, even though you beat the game and have all the best cars in the game? But you gotta go get all the hidden items, right? Right? Those are you? Yeah. Some of us are like that. A lot of us aren't anymore. A lot of us just want to play a game for like a weekend and call it quits and then have somebody tell us how to play it. But if if you enjoy playing games and you're a completionist, in 1.1, they dropped exploration stuff. So, uh, it was okay. I mean, it was fun. It was fun. It was a little frustrating trying to find everything. But I will tell you where it's all at if you want to know. We'll just go through it all. There's um, 10 items or 10 locations in Mondstadt and 17 in Liu. Lie you. I'll try to make this quick. I'll just show all the locations. I'll have timestamps in the description below as well. Um, yeah. All right, first up, City of the Wind. Monstat. All right, here we are at this location. It's right up here on this peak. There'll be a little lookout thing right here. Purple little icon you click on. You can see it from a distance. And you get the location. And we are right here. Nyeom. Next up, Starfall Lake, the Marsh of the Celestial Guardians. All right, and the other one is right over here, down looking over the seven. Right over there. Next, we're going to go over to Windrise, Windswept Wilderness. And here we are at this one. It's right over here. You can see the tree, the teleporter, these rocks right here. We are located right down here. Next up, we'll go to Springvale, Land of the Clear Springs. And then this one is located right over here on this ridge. There's the city of Springvale. There's a teleporter right over there. And we are located, boom, right there. We head to Don Winery, Manor of Daybreak. And this one's located right up here on this ridge overlooking the winery. Here's the location. And we're off to Mondstadt, the Favonius Cathedral. You should already know where this one is. All right, here we are at the cathedral inside Mondstadt. For those of you that don't know, there's the there's the mini map. We are literally inside Mondstadt right here, right? Boom. You walk inside. The location should be right around here on the floor in front of Victor. Again, still in Mondstadt, we're going to go to the Knights of the Favonius Library. All right, so here we are outside the Knights of the Favonius headquarters. Again, if you don't know where it is, here it is on the map. Oh, walk inside. Let's see if I remember. Library should be on the right. Yeah. Yeah, right about here. Take a right and then a right. You should have the location right here. Next up, Thousand Winds Temple. Ancient Thousand Winds Temple. And this one should be located on this top, top ridge line pillar next to this ridge. Right up here on the outskirts. And for map reference, right here. Next, we're going to go to Dad, Dad. The Daduapa Gorge, Forgotten Sword Cemetery, right there, boom. And this one's located pretty much right here next to this rock on the pathway heading to the lake. Uh, teleporter should be up on that ridge up there. You get your pathway here. And for map reference, we're in right here. Lastly, we're going to Storm Terror's Lair, abandoned capital of Howling Winds. And it should be right up here on this top ledge. It's a little bit of a climb. You can get lucky with some airlifts sometimes. But, yep. Yeah, top ledge. Annoying. But up here. Yep. Map reference. All right. Moving on to Li Yu. First up, Li Yu Harbor. And here we are overlooking the harbor. It should be right up here on this ledge. You got the little road over there. And then map reference, right in here. St 
still in Liu Harbor. We're going to go to the Feiyun Slope. And this one, I mean, you should have just gotten it. It should be right here in front of this guard moving down into that section of the map or moving into the red section of the city. Map reference in the city. We are located right over here next to the jeweler and the, and the secret, secret artifact vendor. Shh, you can only see them at nighttime. I promise you, you can. Same thing. And the two fish fenders are secret too. You can only see them during the daytime and they're down here. And still inside Lihu Harbor, we're going to go to the Chihu Rock. And this is another one that you probably already got just from walking around. It's literally like right here on this slope coming down from the Adventurer's Guide. You get the blacksmith right here. Just in case. Map reference. We are right here next to the docks and everything. The last Lihu Harbor location in the Yujing Terrace. And then finally, the last one is located at the top of this building. Um, you could teleport somewhere and fly down. It might be easier. Or you can climb it. I climb it. There's a, a unique path you have to take to get up here. But it's up here. Map reference. Right here on the very tippy top. All right, going to Wangshu Inn, Village Guardian's Vantage Point. All right, this one's located literally right here on this rock wall next to on the, well, next to on the bridge overlooking the inn. For those of you that have seen my artifact farming video on how to level a legendary up to max level 20 in nine days without having to spend resin, already know this one's here because this is part of the path that we take to farm the artifacts. But if you haven't, there'll be a link in the description below for map reference. Next up, we're going to Diwa Marsh, Marsh of Rustling Weeds. All right, this one's on this rock right over here. For reference, we've got the gate. There's a teleporter up there. With the bridge and the stairs and these rocks and horsetail, horsetail. Map reference, right over here. Next, Gilly Plains, Ruins of the Gilly. And this one's located on this little ledge here. Go ahead, you got the little tower back there, some ruins, some more ruins, the gaping hole in the ground, which you might not have drained by now. Yep, map reference. Now we're going to Kingsei Village. Ching, Ching, Kingsei? Kingsei. A home in the hills. Now this one's literally located right at the top of this guy right here. Reference, you got your fields, your fields, your city, drawbridges, secret cave. Secret cave. Map reference, right there. Next up, Julian Karst, where mountains peak beyond the clouds. Well, here's the location up here, next to these uh, little plants here. Again, if you do the artifact run, you'll probably run into this, because there's artifacts over there. You've got a, a wind challenge over there. You get the water and temple pathway. Map reference. Right down here. Next up, Nantianmen. Moonlit tree. This one should be located right here on this little ledge. You got some broken tree stubs down here. A challenge down there. This is this little ridge line. Some dudes over there. And the tree. Map reference. Right here. Next up, Hua Guang Stone Forest. Mist Veiled Stone Forest. I, I can't pronounce any of these names. All right, this one's going to be on this small little circular spiral thingy. Cinnamon roll looking stone plate. For reference, we're in here. And if you guys are farming the unusual hilly, hilly, hilly churls, hilly curls, uh, this is one of his spawn points also. I don't have a video on it yet, but I will on all their locations. But if you are, then you already know this is here. Next up, Luhua Pool, Weeping Garden. All right, next up, it's going to be on top of this little stump. For reference, we're over here. There's where that puzzle stuff is, the little pools of water. Map reference? Yeah. 
Next up, Gunyan Stone Forest, a drop in the ocean. All right, this one's a little hidden. It's on this ledge right here, this rock. Underneath, this drop-off point. At the beach, overlooking the rocks. Next to this tree and the slimes. There should be a ma two mages below me. Then for map reference, we are right here. Boom. Next up, chasm. Beyond the chasm. And this one should be on these little four rocks. Got all of this going on here. And then for map reference, boom. Then Dunyan Ruins. Dunyan Ruins. And this one should be located up on this top ridge overlooking all of this stuff. Got guys down there. You got the flying dude there. You got a walker dude there. Walking guy down there. We are literally up on the ridge. App reference. Almost done. We got Jing, 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 Jing Zhu Pool. Jing Zhu's Forsaken Tower. And this one's pretty straightforward and pretty easy to find. Here's your big structure in the rock. There's that. Your surroundings. We've got that over there. We got a bridge down over here. There's literally a uh, teleporter um, up in this direction. And you just fly down and it's right here on this ridge line. And for map reference. Sorry, we've been doing this too long. And lastly, down in Quijou Slope, the Nine Pillars of Peace. All right, and this last one is literally right here located on this log. Can you sit on it? You can sit on the log. Ah, it's been a long day of traveling. App reference. We were down here in the slope, down in this little crevice. Walk away. There you go. There you have it. I don't know. I wasn't watching if any of this helps towards your exploration progress towards the city reputations of both Mondstadt and Li Yu. If it does, there you go. If it's something you just want to get done because you're like me, there you go. I should have paid attention to see if it was helping my, my exploration rep. Maybe it does. Hopefully it does. If it does, then more people will be wanting to do this. If not, then we're just a bunch of weirdos that want to find more things to do in the game. <laughs> Anyways, I stream daily over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash slygummy between the late night hours of 8 p.m. till about 2 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. It's West Coast United States. You can follow me on Twitter at slygummy for news, updates, and goofiness. We've got a Discord that's kind of growing. We've got some Genshin stuff in there, a lot of other things in there. Also down in the description, we've got links to tons of other helpful videos of Genshin and then time waster videos like wish openings or gotcha pulls, whatever you want to call it, loot boxes. Along with uh, playlists for Genshin, so you don't have to sort through all the other stuff that I've done, like Save the World, because nobody plays that anymore or watches it. Kidding. Kidding. Oof. Oof. Angry people. Anyways, on that, I'm out. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye now.